Hello and welcome to Tutorial 15, coming to you from sunny southern Thailand. There's been quite a change in the weather this past week. For those of you not familiar with the weather patterns in southern Thailand, from around the beginning of the year to roughly the beginning of April, it is extremely hot and dry, with very little rain. Around this time, it's, it's the 2nd of April today, it's still hot and sunny in the morning, but in the afternoon the, the clouds start to roll in, the sky goes dark, and there's often a, a very big storm. There was a, a really torrential storm a couple of days ago. Now, dis despite all this rain, it's still not the rainy season. That doesn't start until around the beginning of October and lasts for about three months. Where I live, there have been some huge floods in the past, and all of those big floods have occurred during the month of November. In November 2010, I woke up in the early hours one morning to find my house had been inundated with two metres of water. We were unable to get out of the house for about four days, no electricity. My wife was pregnant. Fortunately, it had been predicted and we were able to stock up with food and supplies but it still wasn't much fun not being able to go out and not having any electricity. Today we're going to look at T consonants and your initial reaction might be, oh no, there are six of them. I would say to you, don't, don't worry because some are very rare. These three here, I virtually never see. There is an apartment building near me that uses this one in the name, but apart from that, I, I never see it. I can barely remember the names of these characters or how to write them. And if I look in my Thai dictionary, the entries for words beginning with these three take less than one page. You, you can virtually ignore them, just sort of keep them in mind in case you might see them, but it's very unlikely. The one you're going to see most is this one. This is called Tor Tor Sahan. That is by far the most popular one. This, this one here, Tor Tung, is probably second, and you're going to see this one as well. But these three, you're very rarely going to see. I should also have mentioned this when I did the S consonants. The, the saw, the, the tiger consonant, S consonant, is very common, but the other ones are quite rare. So concentrate on the popular ones, and don't worry too much about the rare ones. If you go to the website that I gave you previously, there's a section called Website Resources, and there's a link for Thai consonant summary. And on that page, for every Thai consonant, you'll, you'll find the initial and final sound, the name written in Thai, a transliterated name written in English, an English translation, the consonant class, and an indication of the usage, whether, whether the consonant is used very commonly or very rarely. And when you're first starting, I would suggest just concentrating on the very common consonants, and then as you get more familiar with the Thai script, then looking at the, the lesser used consonants. If you try to do everything at once, it will just be too much, and there, there's no point putting as much effort into learning very rarely used consonants as there is to, to learning very commonly used consonants. I'll just quickly go through the T consonants and then in the usual fashion I'll give you some sample words and get my assistant to give you the correct pronunciation. So this one, which is the most common, is called Tortahan. It means soldier and that's a low class consonant. This one here is called Tortung. It means bag. That's a high class consonant. This one here is to tong, that's a flag, and that's another low class consonant. This one here, to tan, that means base or pedestal or plinth, that's a high class consonant. This one here is called to nang mon to, apparently that's the name of a, a Thai queen, that's low class. And this one here, I, sh I should have heard this more because it describes what I am. It, it's Tor Pu Pu Tao, which means old man. 
And as, as I said, these, these three are very, very rare. This one is very, very common. And these two are probably the second and third most, most common. Whereas most Thai consonants change sound dependent on whether they're an initial or final consonant, that's not the case with the T consonants. If they're an initial consonant, they have a T sound, and if they're a final consonant, they have a T sound. What may be a little surprising is that although there are a lot of Thai words that have a final T sound, the T sound isn't made with any of the T consonants. The character that's normally used is this one, the door deck. So it makes a, a, a D sound as an initial consonant and a T sound as a final consonant. Now what I found extremely frustrating when I was, when I was trying to learn Thai is that a lot of books and transliteration systems don't tell you this. They just convert the door deck into a, a, a D regardless of whether it's an initial or final consonant. Even, even the other day I was looking on YouTube and, I, and I, I saw this. Okay, this is the, the Thai word to, to press. So as you know from previous tutorials, this is the, the Gorgai initial consonant. There's no written vowel, so we need to add an O. And this is the door deck. So as a final consonant, we need to use a, a T. So it sounds something like got, like to pr press a, a doorbell or something. And when I was looking on YouTube the other day, I saw this transliterated as God, the, the big guy in the, in the sky with a white beard. It's just ridiculous. It, it, it mis this, this kind of thing misleads people who are trying to learn. I could never under understand when I first started why every book used different transliteration and all the transliteration I saw didn't match with what I actually heard in my ears. And that's because they just don't understand this. And it, as I say, I just found it really frustrating. Anyway, enough of my frustrations. What I'll do is the same as I've done in previous tutorials. I'll write some sample words. I'll go through a, a quick explanation of the, the basic sound and the, the tone rules for each word. And then I'll get my Thai assistant to give you the correct pronunciation. Before we do the sample words, let's just have a little recap of the, the T consonants. This one first. Thotahan. Soldier. Thotung. Bag. Thotung. Flag. Thotan. That's base, plinth, pedestal. Thomanto. That's a Thai queen. Thoputau. And that's an old man. Now, this one here, Torsahan, you're going to see lots and lots. These two you're going to see, but not as often as this one. These three, you're, I can almost guarantee you're never going to see them. So what I would suggest, because there's so much to remember when you're learning to read Thai, is just to ignore these ones at first. There's no point spending a lot of time and energy remembering things that you're never going to see. So... Concentrate on the commonly used consonants first, and once you're happy with them, you can go back and look at the rarely used consonants and do, do it later. There's, there's no point to do, no point doing these ones at first. And with my sample words, I won't be using these three consonants. So all of these consonants, they make a, a T sound as an initial consonant and a T sound as a final consonant. Although with most Thai words that end with a T sound, they will use this door deck character. Here's our first sample word. We have the Tortahan, initial consonant. Then the Orang, we have a, a written vowel. And then the door deck, which makes a T sound as a final consonant. Tot, tot, tot. And that means to deep fry in Thai. You, you'll see this word in a lot of Thai menus. The tone rules, the Torsahan is low class. It ends with a, a T sound, so it's a, a dead syllable. 
And this vowel is a long vowel, so it has a falling tone. And on to the next word. Okay, again, we have the tortahan initial consonant, then the, the written, written vowel, and the final ngong vowel, the ng sound. And there's also a, a, a tone mark, the second tone mark. Tong, tong, tong. And that's the Thai word for stomach. So again, we have the low class initial consonant and the second tone mark. And the tone rule for that, for that combination is high, a higher tone. Next word, we'll use one of, one of the other T consonants. So here, here we have the, the tor, tor tong, the bag consonant. Then the long R ah vowel and the more ma M final consonant. Tam, tam, tam. And that's the Thai word to ask. So the tone rule this consonant is higher class. It ends with an M sound, so you, you can continue voicing that sound. So it's a live syllable. So a, a higher class initial consonant and a live syllable gives a, a rising tone. Next word will use the same initial consonant. Have the, the T initial consonant, then the, the short uh, vowel written above the consonant. And again we have the ngong ng final consonant. Thung, thung. That's the Thai word to, to reach or to, to arrive at. You'll often see signs outside premises saying tung tung lao. It's like you, you have arrived already. And the tone rule, we have the same high class initial consonant. Because it ends with an ng sound, that's a live syllable. So a high class initial consonant and a live syllable gives a rising tone. I just 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 two more two more sample words. Okay, here we have the 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 to tung initial consonant, then the long u vowel written underneath, and the the go gai is the final consonant, but that makes an unreleased k sound as a final consonant. To 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 that word means cheap in Thai. So the tone rule, we have the high class initial consonant. It ends with a K sound. So that's a dead syllable. And this is a long vowel. So if you look up the, the tone rule for a high class initial consonant, dead syllable, long vowel, you get a, lo a low tone. And just one more. Similar sound, but a, a different tone and different meaning. And different initial consonant as well. So here we're back to the Tor Tahan initial consonant. Then we have the, the short U vowel written underneath. And once again, we have the Gorgai final consonant, which makes an unreleased K sound. Tuk, tuk, tuk. And that word means every. Let's do the, the tone rule for this word. So we have the low class initial consonant. And the, the word ends with a K sound, so it's a dead syllable. And this vowel is short. So low class initial consonant, dead syllable, a short vowel gives a high tone. Okay, I hope that was easy to follow. And I'll see you again shortly for tutorial 16.